Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we will be looking into the UI policies. So as always, let's start the tutorial with the code. Okay. So according to the ServiceNow docs, uh, UI policy offers an alternative to client script for dynamically changing information on the form. Use UI policy to define custom process uh, flows for task. Okay, so you can have policies or client side logic and probably about 99% of the time no scripting is required when we are using the UI policies. UI policies are typically used on form to do things like set a field to read only or mandatory or even hide and show the field based on the criteria. UI policy or a, or a way to set an action on a field based on certain condition without scripting that logic. So how is it done? Well, uh, let's take a look on at the form. So first we have the table you can see over here. Okay. So in this example, you can see that we have the asset table here and then you specify the conditions. So there are a set of condition when uh, this UI policy is run up. Okay. And if the class is not consumable and if the class is not software license, then at the bot, uh, this particular UI action will get executed. Then at the bottom of the form, we have a UI policy action, and this is where we select what field we want to set a mandatory, visible, or read only. So in the screenshot, we have the install, install status uh, being set to read only, the assignment field is set to hidden, and a location is set to read only. Okay. Only there is a ability, ability of run script. If the run script checkbox you can see over here is selected, then we get a script field ex to execute if a condition evaluate to true as well as if this evaluate to false. Okay, so we can uh, write a script when uh, the condition which we have specified over here turns out to be true, then this particular context of code will run, and if it turns to as false, then this context of code will be run. Okay, now let's. I will always take a look at two use cases where you have we have used UI policy. So first use cases such as incident short description. Okay, field two set to read only if the incident is closed. So this is one of the use case which is uh, which is out of the box present in service now. So that is the first use case and second use case is then hidden incident resolution nodes if the state is open so whenever the incident state is set to open we want to hide the incident resolution nodes because incident resolution nodes comes to to play a role when we are closing an incident okay so let's move to the demo now okay thank you As you all will be aware of the interface if you are following my channel. So this is the home screen or uh, you can say the dashboard which we see when we log in into a service now personal instance. Okay. So as as we have shown for UI actions, client script and business rule, you can navigate to UI policies also by two means. The first way is like in the filter navigator, you can simply type UI policy. And under system UI, you can see the UI policy. So the other few things which we have seen in the past, it will uh, business rule, UI action, those were present in system definition. So this is under the system policies. Okay, and the second method is via form or the list view. Okay, so again, we will be going to the incident table for the demo purpose. So we'll go to incident dot list. So this is a shortcut to go to navigate directly to the incident list you can simply right click configure and over here you can see the ui policies okay so let's have a look in couple of the ui policies so let's see this ui policy okay so this ui policy talks about making field read only when okay uh, making free read only when the incident is closed so you can see this is the form for the UI policy as as shown in the screenshot. 
we have a field called table which is populated with incident it's active true right now in short description you can give what exactly this ui policy is doing when to apply when to apply plays a role it's a condition when you want to execute this particular uh, ui policy so for the current ui policy uh, we have given a condition like incident is closed when incident is closed or when incident is cancelled that time what we want to do we want to make everything read only because we don't want user to edit anything when incident is closed or cancelled okay they have served their purpose over there so and at the bottom you can see these are the ui policy actions and uh, you can see state open by op open that close that all the fields you can see all, mostly all the fields and we have set it to read only if i open one of the record right so this is the interface which we see for ui policy action this is a form layout uh, it's UI policy action over here. It shows for which parent UI policy action this particular UI policy action is created Okay, then table table will be default uh, Inherited from the parent means uh, from the UI policy in the field name you can define the Field on which you want to add the validation. So it will show all the incident related field over there Okay, depends on the table then here we see the option like mandatory visible read only and clear the field so when mandatory is set this field is set to mandatory determines if the you can see on the tooltip right determine if the field is mandatory for the form visible determine if the field is visible on the form read only it's quite easy to understand right determine field if you want to show the field in the form and clear the value is like whenever this particular condition is checked it will clear out the field okay if it's predefined values or any values it will clear it out let's have a look in one other po ui policy let's uh, go to make assignment group mandatory okay so let's see what exactly this particular so this is not on incident table okay this is on task table okay you must be questioning key okay i have filtered it out by incident on the incident but why task table ui ui policies are there over here in the list so whenever we take a ui policy for incident as it follows the inheritance so it uh, it will have the policies which are written on the task table also okay so that's why we'll get the policies which are written on incident plus task so what this particular ui policy is doing from the short description we come to know make assignment group mandatory so here we are making the assignment group mandatory there are no conditions that means this particular actions we uh, ui policy we want to perform every time okay and here you can see in the ui policy action it's like assignment group true mandatory set to true okay visible read only it's fine let's let's show let me show you the example for run script also okay so i will simply go over here i will remove this condition for timing and i will add run script which is a checkbox i have shown you okay it's true so let's see what we get i will remove it there's no run script ui action on uh, incident table so let's see this one so let's have this the first one okay so what exactly is doing what it does this is on which table this is on soap message table okay and from the description we come to know it's like show basic auth user and password if basic auth is true okay so whenever it's a basic authentication we want to show the field user and password okay so you can see in the when to apply right now it's like user basic authentication is true okay then we want to show uh here you can see uh, it's like global on load reverse if false means if the condition doesn't match this then it will execute the false condition okay and if i go to the script side so you can see all this option because this run script checkbox is checked if i remove this out everything is gone so when it's checked it asks us where you want to execute this ui policy so you get the option like client script desktop mobile or all okay <coughs> sorry for that and you can define the code if the condition you have given is uh, turns out to be true then this particular set of code will run if false then this code so right now there is nothing in reverse if false okay but you can define it out so this is all 
on the UI policy. Hope you are now aware about how the UI policy works. Uh, as you can see, you can use it out to a greater extent without using code itself. Okay. So see you in the next tutorial with further updates on service now. Have a nice day. Thank you.